So here we are with Sam Haynes and Celestial. Great work. Uh, how do you feel at the end of that? That was a, a very, very uh, brutal race at times. It was difficult. It was just match racing the Ichiban, you know, all the other TPs together, separated, then back together again. It was a very, very technically challenging race. And do you reckon you've got it on them? Uh, yeah, we got them on time. So, you know, at this stage, um, I don't know exactly the standings, but at this stage, I believe that we're sort of like the leaders in the clubhouse, if you like. Um, so, yeah, I think on, on rating, we're, we're, um, we're, we're, we're on, the, uh, on the podium now. And the Ichiban guys said they thought you, you got them in the first night. Do you think that's where it was? Oh, look, we, there were so many opportunities to uh, make a misstep. You know, like we were close by with other TPs like uh, Quest and Smuggler. Uh, we separated from them and then we're all back again. Um, there was a couple of uh, really significant weather uh, patterns out there that our navigator, James Dagg, did an awesome job of getting us around. So, um, and we had uh, Jack McCartney, you know, doing the leadership, the, the tactician, um, sailing master, and uh, Chapo, Dave Chapman as well, you know, taking a strategy role. So we had a lot of good people on the boat. Um, really great bow team. There's so many sail changes, just hard, hard work, even up there. Up the river here, you know, just the way we raced that boat was the way we raced it all the way. And we were in the same bit of water as these guys um, uh, since, I don't know, we met up probably about early hours of yesterday morning or something and we were just with them the whole way. Just managed to hang in there. So, yeah. How was that first night? Uh, no breakages, all good? Uh, the first night was pretty, it was very, it was highness conditions, you know, really brutal. Um, uh, we didn't have any significant breakages. We sort of like had little things break and, you know, nothing to jeopardize the race but when you're racing like that you know that anything can happen and you know there were so many retirements um just making it through that day was is very important and apart from being exhausted how are you feeling at the moment oh, i'm really happy you know i've been uh, this is my 10th hobart um a few of us have done 10 on this boat today actually or this this particular race um i've been trying for a long time i came third one year and that was a you know amazing experience but um, you know this is you know potentially going to be um, better. But you know there's still lots of boats out there racing, and they're going to have come in, and uh, there's a tight fleet. So by no means are we going to you know start patting ourselves on the back with any type type of you know in our division. There's only three boats in the end. You know so that's how tough the race was. So you know time will tell where the actual um, you know who gets to lift the silverware. Uh, but we've got a chance right now, but, you know, I'm really happy with the race. The crew was amazing, just a really, really good crew of guys. Even though it was quite difficult and hard work and no sleep and everything, you know, uh, it's just watching a, a really skilled group of sailors working together and, and um, you know, being super good at their job, super good at sailors. You know, that was, you know, was one of those things which I'm always doing. And the TP52s are a bit of a race within a race anyway, so if you feel like you're leading that, that's a win anyway, isn't it? Yeah, TP52s are, you know, they, you know, they're very fast but very hard to sail boats and there are quite a lot of them out there and they do have, you know, they, they don't like the hard conditions that well. They're quite, they're rough. Yeah. Yeah, designed for the med and then hardened for these sorts of things, yeah? yeah well, that's like this one here, exactly like that. And this one is a quite a rough ride, very rough ride. Yeah, but anyway, we'll see what happens over the next few days when the other, you know, contenders come in. There's a good fleet of boats still remaining in the race, so, yeah. Well done. Good work.